extremely common. Is it? Yeah. Lithium's everywhere. Um, lithium is one of the most common elements in the, in the, in the universe. It's at number three on the periodic table. So we got lithium here pretty much everywhere. Where um, do we get it? Uh, well, I mean, Tesla, we get most of our lithium from Australia, actually. Um, so, um, but it's, you could get lithium from seawater if you wanted to. It's just, really? It's, yeah. Lithium is a, it just forms a salt. Basically. And that's the primary component of the batteries or no. what else is in there? It's a misnomer, actually. The, it's called lithium, lithium ion, but that's like, that's like the salt in the salad. You know, oh. it's like, it's like, do you like salt <laughs> in your salad? Sure. But it's not made of salt. Um, <laughs> uh, the I mean, the primary component in uh, lithium-ion batteries, like in a Tesla, is nickel. Um, and, and nickel is also relatively common. It's not super common. Iron is very common. So there's the, the two... Elon Musk has just set the internet ablaze with a tweet that has sent shockwaves through the battery industry. In a concise message, he declared that the price of lithium has reached unprecedented levels prompting Tesla to consider a bold move, entering the mining and refining business on a massive scale. And then we're also uh, going to be uh, adding 100 gigawatt hours of, uh, 40, of, of Tesla 4680 cell manufacturing here. And that's just to start. Uh, I think long term, we, we may do as much as uh, five, uh, yes, as, as much as uh, 500 gigawatt hours long term. Uh, but w w this increment is uh, 100 gigawatt hours. Um, and um, yeah, so hugely important uh, game changer. Why? Because the explosive growth of global battery demand is projected to skyrocket to a staggering 603 gigawatt hours. Sparks, Nevada, is at the epicenter of this demand. And Tesla has grandiose plans to meet it head on. But what does this mean for the future of batteries? How will this audacious leap into mining and refining impact Tesla's cost structure? And most importantly, what groundbreaking possibilities does the mysterious LTO concept hold? Join us as we embark on a thrilling journey into the world of Elon Musk's latest revelation, where innovation knows no bounds and the future is electrifyingly bright. Let's begin. So what exactly is this groundbreaking LTO battery? And how does it play a pivotal role in the transformation of the battery industry? Let's dive into the details. The chemical formula for LTO is Li2TO3, with the anode material being lithium titanate. Unlike other lithium ion batteries, LTO batteries boast faster charging capabilities and an astonishingly long life cycle. In fact, these batteries can endure over 30,000 cycles, equivalent to an impressive 82 years of lifespan. This far surpasses the cycle life of competitive lithium-ion technologies like lead acid, which typically range from 500 to 1,000 cycles. The longevity of LTO batteries positions them alongside other long-life infrastructures like transformers and generators, eliminating the need for frequent replacements. One of the standout advantages of LTO batteries is their pricing. Comparing a 40A 3.2 volt battery of LTO technology to a lithium iron phosphate battery, the former is approximately $10 cheaper at $38.70. Additionally, opting for an electric vehicle powered by an LTO battery instead of a lithium ion battery can save you an additional $13.95. As the price of batteries greatly influences the overall cost of electric vehicles, these price advantages make LTO batteries a compelling choice for manufacturers and consumers alike. Tesla, always at the forefront of innovation, has recognized the immense potential of LTO batteries. With the soaring price of lithium, Elon Musk envisions a future where Tesla conducts its own battery research, exploration, and manufacturing to fulfill not only its own needs, but also those of the entire electric vehicle industry. By combining lithium and titanium materials, Tesla aims to create a new type of battery that not only reduces costs, but also improves battery quality. Titanium, known for its resistance to environmental factors and wide thermal range, enhances durability and extends the life cycle of batteries. To realize this vision, Tesla has invested over $10 million in building its own factory in Nevada, encompassing a staggering 5 million square feet. The cutting-edge technology within this facility enables refining and production processes that are poised to revolutionize the battery manufacturing landscape. 
with an army of over 11,000 team members and plans to add another 4 million square feet of manufacturing space, Tesla's ambitions are unmatched. When it comes to charging and discharging, LTO batteries outshine their counterparts. While it takes approximately two to three hours to charge a conventional lithium ion battery, the LTO battery can achieve a full charge in just 10 minutes. This rapid charging capability makes LTO batteries the ideal choice for high-speed charging. Unlike lithium iron phosphate, LFP batteries, which cannot sustain continuous high-speed charging, LTO batteries can handle a maximum charging and discharging current of 10C, equivalent to 400 amperes. In addition, LTO batteries exhibit an impressive charge and discharge conversion efficiency of 86% within a temperature range of minus 35 degrees Celsius to 70 degrees Celsius. This performance surpasses that of standard lithium ion batteries, which typically achieve 95% or higher efficiency. The secret to the LTO battery's superior performance lies in its utilization of titanate nanocrystals on the anode surface instead of carbon. This unique composition results in an anode with a surface area of approximately 100 square meters per gram, compared to just 3 square meters per gram for carbon. As a result, electrons can enter and exit the anode rapidly, facilitating faster charging. Moreover, the redox potential of lithium intercalation into titanium oxide is higher than that of lithium intercalation into graphite, enabling higher charging currents. This combination of factors allows LTO cells to last for an impressive 3,000 to 7,000 charge cycles, with a lifespan of around 1,000 cycles before reaching 80% capacity. Another advantage of LTO batteries is their exceptional stability and minimal volume change during cycles. These batteries experience only a slight volume change of 0.1% to 0.3%, preventing structural damage caused by material elongation during charging and discharging. Unlike other lithium batteries that undergo a 10% volume expansion during cycles, leading to battery swelling and the formation of a passive solid electrolyte interface SEI, film on the electrode surface, LTO batteries maintain their structural integrity and exhibit reduced capacity attenuation. Furthermore, the diffusion coefficient of lithium ions in lithium titanium is higher than that in carbon, enhancing the battery's performance. With the aid of cutting-edge technology, LTO batteries can achieve a full charge in just 10 minutes. This is a significant milestone as it overcomes the long-standing challenge of excessive charging time that has hindered the development of electric vehicles. Imagine a typical electric bus that can now be fully charged in 10 minutes instead of the usual four hours. Fast charging is undoubtedly the future trend, as buyers expect shorter charging times for their electric vehicles. In terms of capacity, LTO batteries have a weight advantage over traditional lithium-ion batteries. A 40A LTO battery weighs only 250 grams compared to the 630 grams of a 40A LFP cell. However, the energy density remains relatively similar due to the nominal voltage difference. The LTO battery operates at 2.3 volts, whereas the LFP cell operates at 3.2 volts. The success of LTO batteries is also attributed to their unique construction. They employ two battery terminals, the anode and the cathode. The anode replaces carbon with lithium titanate nanocrystals, increasing the surface area and facilitating faster electron flow. The cathode, on the other hand, features a double-layer structure with two material layers, enabling the production of high-power LTO fuel cells that operate more efficiently. When it comes to appearance, the LTO battery may seem similar to Tesla's cylindrical 4680 or 2170 batteries, but it's actually much larger in size. Each LTO cell measures 66 millimeters in diameter and 160 millimeters in length. Additionally, there are extra connectors on both sides for customizing the battery pack, making the total length 202 millimeters. These batteries are encased in a distinctive blue plastic shell, a common color for solid-state lithium batteries in the market. The versatility of LTO batteries is noteworthy. Users and manufacturers can create battery systems tailored to their specific needs by selecting the appropriate quantity of batteries based on usage and required environments. Typically, six lithium titanate cells are precisely packed together to form a pack with a voltage range of 10.8 to 15.9 volts. In industries such as electric car production, 
hundreds or even thousands of these units can be combined to create a unified pack. Original jumpers, or those designed for Winston cells, can be used to connect the cells, offering flexibility in pack configuration, such as flat, pyramid, or any other shape that best suits the requirements. Safety is a paramount consideration, and LTO batteries excel in this area. Thanks to their non-flammable nature, there is no risk of fire, explosion, or leakage of toxic substances. Unlike some other battery types, LTO batteries do not spontaneously ignite when internal temperatures reach dangerous levels. They also do not emit smoke, which is a common issue encountered with batteries like LFP, lithium iron phosphate. In contrast, when an LFP battery overheats or catches fire, it releases significant amounts of carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, and other hazardous substances in high concentrations. Even in small quantities, these gases, such as hydrogen fluoride, can be life-threatening. The absence of carbon in lithium titanate batteries prevents thermal runaway or overheating, which is a leading cause of fires in traditional energy storage systems. This inherent safety feature makes LTO technology ideal for user-friendly, low-risk energy storage applications. Furthermore, the lower operating voltage of LTO batteries contributes to their higher safety level compared to LFP batteries. Additionally, LTO batteries stand out in the realm of traditional energy storage, thanks to their remarkable low temperature performance. By harnessing nanotechnology, these batteries can retain up to 80% of their full charge capacity, even at bone-chilling temperatures as low as minus 30 degrees Celsius. In fact, their operating temperature range is quite impressive, spanning from a frigid negative 50 degrees Celsius to a scorching 65 degrees Celsius, all while maintaining little loss in capacity or performance. While many batteries struggle in cold conditions, LTO cells continue to operate seamlessly even at negative 50 degrees Celsius. Specially designed products can even operate stably at this extreme temperature without being affected by the environment. At such low temperatures, the lithium titanate anodes in LTO batteries defy the tendency to cause short circuits or aggravate anode dendrites during charging, a feat that is not achievable with graphite anodes. This enables LTO batteries to be rapidly charged and discharged in diverse settings, making them particularly well-suited for automotive applications. But how exactly are LTO batteries produced? The manufacturing process involves several steps tailored to create electrodes suitable for lithium-ion batteries. Firstly, an efficient dry method is employed to produce lithium titanate in large quantities. This is followed by a process that suppresses the vaporization loss of lithium compounds during the centering reaction, allowing for precise control of the desired ratio within the range of 0.78 to 0.82. Finally, a production method is utilized to curtail the persistence of titanium dioxide as a raw material. By adhering to these specific production conditions, lithium titanate with the necessary composition can be efficiently obtained, resulting in a negative electrode and a lithium ion battery with high discharge capacity and improved charging and discharging capabilities. Looking towards the future, LTO batteries hold promising prospects, particularly in the electric vehicle EV sector. The United States government is displaying a strong commitment to enacting new transportation laws and policies centered around environmental considerations. The U.S. Department of Energy has recently announced plans to invest a substantial $258 million into advanced vehicle technology, including LTO batteries, lead-acid batteries, lithium-ion batteries, and other battery types. This significant investment is expected to stimulate the demand for electric vehicles and their components, leading to robust growth in the EV market within the United States during the forecast period of 2022 to 2030. Imagine a future where Tesla integrates LTO batteries into their vehicles. How do you envision this transformative shift impacting Tesla's performance, range, charging speed, and overall driving experience? And if you enjoyed this video, Show us some love by hitting that like button and leaving a comment down below. Also, if you're a fan of all things technology, be sure to check out this other video we've got lined up for you. It's packed with all the latest news, tips, and tricks to keep you ahead of the curve.